Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen, aka Fatboy from Zergrina Sports here, and I just wanted to start this episode off by saying that I apologize for not uploading in a long time. I've been really busy with school. I have a very um, tough semester this year because I have uh, two hard maths and an English, so I don't really have much time on my hands to do stuff for YouTube or do stuff on my own, so yeah, I once again, I do apologize for not uploading in a while, but uh, hopefully... I'll hopefully I'll be able to upload a bit more. I'll try and upload a bit more. Uh, no promises, but I will try my best. Here you can see we're offering some contracts to our players uh, with contracts running out at the end of the season. And our first game of the episode is Away to Parma. Uh, I actually recorded this footage quite a while back. I recorded this footage, I believe, a week after FIFA came out, and it's November 6th as I'm recording this um, voiceover. I also edited this a while ago. I just haven't had time to come and do the voiceover. but uh, So I don't really remember much. Torres here, uh, with a brilliant run, gets through the defense and has a good shot, but the goalkeeper saves it. Menez here passes to Torres, who passes out wide to El Shirawe, who I try and cut in with El Shirawe there, and finesse it with his right, but I should have hit it first time. Torres on the ball again, passes it to El Shirawe, who has a shot, but another great save by the Parma keeper, keeping them in this game. And here we have the corner. El Shirawe whips it in, and... It gets cleared, but Abate passes to Monto, who passes to Honda, who has a shot, but another good save from the Parma keeper. Torres on the ball again here, gets past the defense, has a shot, but a great save from the Parma keeper again. The, the keeper for Parma had a very good game. Uh, Menez here with the ball, luck, lucky to get by, crosses it in. Torres with a header, but another great save by Mirante, I believe that is, in Parma's net. Uh, back with to Lodi here, who has a shot, but it goes over after a deflection. And here I decide to uh, make a substitution. I bring off De Jong because he has a yellow card, and I don't want him to get sent off. I also bring off Honda because he's getting a bit tired, and I believe I bring someone else on. Or nope, I leave it as is. Okay, there you can see our subs coming on here. Menez passes it to Montalivo, who has a shot, but it's right at uh, Mirante, so he saves again. That's how the game ends. No, no, we should have won. Uh, there are some other f results from the fixtures around the Serie A on that day. And uh, here I have some contracts back. Uh, Didac, Abiati, Pazzini, Abate all accept their contracts. Fossati wants a bigger squad role, I believe it said. Uh, so I offer him that. Because I want to keep hold of Fossati. Uh, Benedicic gets his contract offer accepted. And De Jong tells us that he will not be renewing his contract. So I go in and offer him 10 more thousand. And the crucial first team player. I also offer him 10% a week bonus uh, per goal, I believe. Because he's a midfielder. So I, get, I believe he gets bonus per goal. And uh, I had to do that because he's one of our most vital players right now. Uh, in the game. And uh, here we go into our game against Juventus at home. Uh, there you can see our lineup there. Uh, if I can't read the names well, it's because my screen's kind of pixely. Juventus have a free kick there, but Marquisio uh, hits it over. Here, Lichsteiner plays the ball to Marquisio, who plays it to probably Tevez, but a great save by Diego Lopez there. And Montalivo passes it to Honda, who doesn't get it, but he wins it back. Probably should have been a foul. Menez gets around one, passes it back to Honda. Honda takes a touch and hits it into the bottom. I'm getting all jumbled up. Uh, Honda takes a touch and just uh, pokes it in the net, really. Not a lot on that, just a little touch. Uh, Buffon should have done better, should have saved it, but I'm not complaining. That puts me up 1-0 to the best team in Italy, um, so I'm happy. But Lichsteiner here has a shot, but another good save from Diego Lopez. And this game was uh, definitely more even than the last game, but Menez gets played through by Honda here. And he plays, and then there's a mix-up here, but De Jong plays it to El Shirawe. 
who gets past one, cuts inside, cuts in, and finesses it into the bottom right corner to put us up 2-0 in the 72nd minute, I believe that is, against Juventus. And at this point, I was really happy because I had drawn uh, my first two games, and I didn't think I, I thought I was gonna have a bad season because I drew against Parma when I had that many chances. I I just didn't think things were gonna go for well for me this season. But then I'm winning two nil at home to Juventus, which is obviously, like I said, the best team in Italy at the moment, uh, in real life and in the game probably. Although I think we have a really good uh, team in the game, and that's how the game ends. El Shaarawy got man of the match, I believe, and there you can see some. The other scores there, Roma winning. And uh, next we go into a game away to Empoli. And I will tell you guys now that this is one of the uh, most action-packed games, I guess, that uh, you'll probably see this uh, season, I guess. Uh, I've not done the season yet, but uh, I decided to play my backup squad here. So we have Niang and Bonaventura and Van Ginkel and... Uh, Tielmans, I believe, is no. Tielmans comes off, is on the bench. Uh, Poli and Van Ginkel playing. We have some. Yeah, it, it's just it's our um, our rotation squad. And uh, Empoli score right off the bat, of a deflection right there, right through Abiati's legs. But uh, right, very soon after they score. Uh, Mayher gets in on net, but can't score. A good save by the goalkeeper. Pazzini has the ball here. Dribbles with it, passes it in to Van Ginkel, who has a shot, and smashes it with his left foot to equalize for us in the 13th minute, I believe that is. A uh, good ball to find Van Ginkel, good touch, and a great finish by Van Ginkel there to get his uh, debut goal. Uh, or first goal, sorry. I think this was his debut as well, so uh, that's good, but correct me if I'm wrong. And here, Mayher gets through the defense and has a shot very similar to Van Ginkel's in the sense that it was with the left foot roughly the same position, roughly the same area of the net that they shot on. Uh, but he hits it bar down and puts us 2-1 up, uh, getting his first goal. Uh, getting his first goal. And I believe, sorry, these aren't the debuts of Van Ginkel and Mayher, but they are the... Uh, full debuts, I guess, so it's their first starts. Here, Bonaventura gets played through an almost a third uh, carbon copy goal. Not carbon copy, that would have to be like for like, but almost a third very similar goal, but he shoots it over. And then, uh, I believe his first name is Diego, but Laxalt gets played through right here, bad defending by myself, and just smashes it into the left side of the net, leveling the score at 2-2. Here, Van Gingel gets played through, plays it to Pazzini, who has a shot, but he uh, misses the target. And at this point, we decide to bring on uh, some substitutions. We decide to bring on Munir Al Haddadi in place of Pazzini. We decide to bring on uh, Tielmans in place of Poli, I believe, yes. And we, we leave it at that. And uh, it's already 2 2. There's Diego Laxalt again. Uh, score of this goal right here gets played through and just smashes it into the left side of the net. Uh, Abiati had an all right game, I guess. Um, I tried not to play Abiati too much because I didn't want to get screwed by him being shoddy. Uh, here they have a corner, but Abiati grabs it and passes it out to Neong, who runs with it and he keeps running. But then Van Ginkel is injured. Yes, Van Ginkel is injured, just like real life. Around the same time, and uh, as you'll see later on, um, it's for three weeks, I believe, just like his real life injury. Here, Tielmans gets played through a great touch and smashes it into the top right corner to get his goal on his debut as well. I believe this is the first time he's come off the bench. And he, he'd only been on for like five, ten minutes at this point, I believe. So, great start to his career at Milan here. Great turn and great finish right there. Boom! 3-2. Told you guys this was an eventful game. Um, a lot more eventful than uh, the last two, the last three games, I guess, uh, considering two of them were draws. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and here right off the kickoff, Munir steals the ball here, cuts inside, finesses it into the bottom left corner, and it is 4-2, and Munir gets his goal on his debut as well. 
and uh, great finish, uh, great job to get the ball back, awful defending, cuts in, once again, great finish, and 4-2 in the 83rd minute, I believe, and that's actually how the game ends, 4-2 away to Empoli. Here is some of the other results, Juventus winning, Inter drawing their Napoli winning, Roma, I believe, won. Uh, Dion still doesn't accept his contract, so I have to go in and offer him another one. But uh, we're coming near the end of the video, guys, uh, as we offer him a new contract. As you saw, Van Gaal closed out for three weeks, like in real life. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry once again for um, not uploading as much as I'd like to. Uh, I don't. I think De Jong refuses his contract again here. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, I'm sorry for not uploading. Please check out the main channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.